Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole Maston and today I'm going to be talking about the Good and the Beautiful's core curriculums. Honestly, you guys, this curriculum changed our homeschool entirely for the better. So I'm so excited to dive in and share with you guys how much we enjoy it, why we enjoy it, and how it just changed our homeschool. Now, if you're new here, I'd love to have you guys stick around. I post anything from homeschool videos to some homemaking, some home like decor DIYs. And if you follow me on social, you'll know that we just delivered our twins in May. So soon to come some twin mom life content. Now, if you've been around here for a while, I shared in my first video here on YouTube our story and honestly how we found the good and the beautiful. We had started uh, pre-k at home we did that with a certain curriculum and then we moved on to kindergarten and i was so excited to start kindergarten with our daughter as a first generation homeschooler i had no experience whatsoever but i had you know read reviews i had gotten on youtube and found other moms that were using this curriculum and when we got into like this I guess the meat of kindergarten it just felt so overwhelming uh, the curriculum we had at the time was a lot of prep work it required I felt like more skill from me as an educator that I just you know kind of lacked because I didn't have that previous experience and so I really just went searching for a curriculum that required less of me so that I could be more for my daughter if that makes sense um, because I was like showing up in this overwhelming state as far as you know having to prep all of these things I felt like it really took the joy out of homeschooling so uh, when I went to YouTube to start searching for curriculums I came across the good and the beautiful and after listening to the founders video and I was in tears listening to it I told my husband, um, you know, despite all the money we had spent, um, I truly needed to just let go of that curriculum and switch. And you guys, when I say uh, one lesson I've learned with homeschooling is that if it's not working to let go, that would be the biggest lesson I've learned. So uh, we ended up taking the leap there and switched to the good and the beautiful. And like I said, uh, our, our homeschool entirely changed. So diving into why I love their core curriculums is honestly my favorite part, the open and go style, like the no prep work. And that may come off a little lazy to y'all, but honestly, we're in a very busy season of our life right now. Like I mentioned, we just had twins. So I'm not like anticipating this fall to be like super overwhelming because I know what to expect with this. I know that, um, you know, our daughter will be starting third grade. And so, um, you know, on those days that are like super overwhelming uh, with having, you know, four kids uh, with two newborns, I know that this will be easy enough that we can just open and go. I don't have to prep anything for it and she's still learning. And I love that it allows me to sit down and it's a hands-on learning with her. So, you know, I'm reading the, like it'll have like passages to read to your child and everything's just so laid out. So I just follow the instructions and then I get to sit alongside her and, you know, read and learn. And I just like that. I mean, we have sat there while I'm feeding newborns and taking our books to the couch and she's done her work you know sitting next to me there we've also taken these books to doctor's appointments when we have appointments out of town um, we've also taken these when we've traveled back home um, you know we're home for a couple weeks this allows for us to pack these up and you know sit at um, my parents dining room table and do the work there so uh, I love the simplicity of that I feel like because there's no daily prep time it becomes more of like your lifestyle and it doesn't feel so much like traditional school another thing I've kind of noticed with the language arts is that it combines multiple subjects so you don't feel like you're having to teach a ton of different courses with um, our daughter's lower grades I feel like this was enough that I didn't have to add in a ton of extra. So depending on you know what your state's uh, requirements are, like some states do require you to have like different subjects, but I feel like they, the good and the beautiful touch on multiple subjects. So it does kind of cut that um, you know course load back a ton. So now speaking for the math, uh, we will be starting math three in the fall, and um, for math K through math three. 
they have it's 120 lessons and they're all parent led so like i said we've been working through these books this is the math tool we've been working through with summer and um they come with these math boxes and what i love about these if you've seen in a recent video they just updated these boxes from the wooden boxes now they're like a hard cardboard but they're just super let's see i'll show y'all they're just super um cute it allows you to have like some fun games and different things so a lot of hands-on learning and then uh, I'm not really speaking from experience but I do know that the math four through seven is actually video lessons teaching the concepts and then the 120 lessons are student-led but I think that's gonna be awesome especially like by that point when I'll be teaching multiple children that Lila will have that resource to watch the videos and she will learn those concepts through engaging videos and then she'll be able to go on and do her independent work there so that's just like a little background math K through 3 is parent-led lessons and then math four through seven is the videos and then student led. Something else I wanted to mention is they actually offer both the math and language arts free on their website in PDF form. So I think that's so awesome that you can get on there and download these PDFs and either preview them or print them so that you can use them at home. I've done that in the past. I just prefer the physical copies. However, I just think it's so generous of them that, you know, they offer those options. So if money's tight or you just wanted to try it before purchasing, I highly recommend getting on there and checking out their free PDF version. So one thing I did want to show you guys, especially um, because I, uh, like in our state, we are required to have lesson plans. One of the things I have loved with this curriculum is that the table contents in all of the books you guys see um, show like what they're learning that particular day. And so I tend to just kind of check off as we go. And then I also will kind of create like little goal dates like to have this done by this date. So that way I can break down the course book and then you know same with the language arts inside here there is you know like the items you need uh for the course and then that table of contents sharing um you know where you're at in the lessons and what they'll be learning that day and um the unit test i absolutely love the assessments that the core curriculums provide so i feel like you know in our state we're required like progress reports so when we hit those unit assessments i keep all of those for our records and that's helped me tremendously just gauge where our daughter's at and what she still needs to work on and you know where she's excelling so i love that the um tester in here as well and um my daughter is like a very anxious test taker i've noticed that and i just feel like they don't feel like you know big test i'm trying to see if i could show you guys one um it's just like right before you move on to a new unit it's like a little unit review and um so it's like a unit assessment here if you guys can see and one of the things i really like is like if they are struggling in that section so this for instance is um expand expanded form to the hundreds so just say like they um, didn't do well in this section then there's an additional practice section here and it'll have you actually go back and um you know take that again so that you can see like okay now they've mastered that skill so i really like how the assessments are laid out and it's just uh, you know helped me as far as like keeping those progress reports um, i just you know make copies of those things and just you know track where she's at as far as like the unit skills go now to conclude today's video i did want to bring in a guest speaker because y'all heard from me um, about how much has changed our homeschool i felt the need to share my daughter's experience and how it's changed so i did want to ask her a couple questions just so you guys could hear from her standpoint truly how it's changed our homeschool okay so this is my daughter lila Hi. she will be entering the third grade in the fall and so i was going to ask you a couple questions so you could share with them um how you feel the good and beautiful has changed our homeschool okay uh, so okay. um first thing how do you feel that the courses itself like helped you i definitely think it's definitely helped me with reading and it's definitely helped me 
doing math with bigger numbers. Okay, so like I said, her reading did explode tremendously. I saw a huge change in your reading and I failed to mention that also did help you with math as well. I feel like you gained the confidence to work with bigger numbers. Okay, next question. What do you like specifically about the curriculums, like mm -hmm. lessons and like the subjects that you're learning? Well, I really like how like it's not just like bland like stuff, like how they'll like have kind of like a theme sometimes well they'll like be like a boy or a girl doing something but then like i gotta like do like the math and stuff for it oh okay like that. so like yeah they definitely um they do a lot with the illustrations and um just kind of like the characters they include in the lessons is that what you're talking about yeah um one of the things i like too especially because like we do have, I feel like, less time to do schoolwork lately because we have added more things into our school day. I like how short the lessons are. I feel like her and I, when we get on a roll, we can, you know, get through, um, you know, a, a couple, maybe three lessons per subject each day. Um, so I like how short they are because then it allows us to kind of add more and not just do like one lesson that day. Yeah. And I also like how we usually get to play like math games and stuff. Oh yes, yeah. so the math boxes, I was waiting for you to say that because I feel like you um, tend to say that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so like when we're doing them, I mean, she always wants to do the game and then do the game again because you enjoy doing the game with yeah. mom. So, so they have like, you know, all the game pieces in these math boxes. So I, I think that's a lot of fun too. And just giving us that time where I get to sit down and read to you. And it is that one-on-one -on -one time. I enjoy that a lot yeah. too. Okay, now this is just off the chart question, but what would you say your favorite subject is from The Good and the Beautiful? Um, it's not like this one, but it's definitely the Sparks in Stars um, Science. Oh, the science. Okay, so I actually have videos on that as well. Uh, the Science for Little Hearts and Hands, they came out with Sparks and Stars. And Lila, she's really into space. So yeah. we picked that up this summer and we've been working through that. So that is, that's kind of my favorite too. But <laughs> um, I do love everything about the Gun and the Beautiful. I can't speak highly enough about it. Like I said, it really did change our homeschool, but I love how much it emphasizes God, family, um, just character in general. I feel like even their books, I don't have to question what Lila's reading. I feel so confident, you know, purchasing these books and allowing her to just take them and read them without me having to scan, you know, because nowadays I feel like you have to monitor what your kids are reading, what they're watching on TV. And um, The Good and the Beautiful is so good about that, that you don't have to question, you know, what they're reading. Okay, so to conclude today's video, I hope you guys found this video helpful. I know when I was searching for a curriculum, I was searching YouTube to find videos just like this to hear other homeschoolers' experiences with the curriculum itself. And so I hope I, you know, shared those points with you guys or, you know, helped kind of cross off some of your worries. For me, I will always say that the no prep time has truly been the um, you know, the cake of it all. I feel like it helped me so much just find, honestly utilize that time I was using to prep things and just pour into my children so much more. So um, I love that it's no prep. Um, I love that it's given my daughter like a huge confidence boost in learning. And I feel a lot more confident teaching her. And so, um, Again, if you guys have any questions, I'm an open book. You guys can leave it in the comments. And if you're not following me on Instagram, I tend to post more like daily stories and behind the scenes over there. So I'll pop my Instagram handle up here so you guys can check it out. Um, also, if you guys are looking into the Good and the Beautiful, I will post in this description of this video the placement test in which I had my daughter take so that I knew which level she was placing in as well as the link to shop their core curriculum. So I hope you guys found this helpful. If you guys have any questions, definitely leave in the comments and I hope you guys all have a blessed week.